I'd like to welcome everyone back to the build. We're going to get to one of my favorite parts of the build. As always, we're going to do some painting. These are my three colors I'm using. I'm going to be starting out with my usual flat black as my primer. And I still paint the same way when I was a kid with my spray paint outside, in the hood, short for neighborhood, my backyard, enjoying life. I really, really enjoy building these motor cars. They are such a stress reliever for me. This build is actually turned into the hurricane build for me. We have hurricane in bearing down on us even though we're going to catch the outer bands right now it's sunny but that storm is coming as you can see i like to start in the air with the paint then bring the spray down continuously so i can have a a smooth even point on my painting Now, I try to bring this metallic copper to bring a metallic to my paint. I had to do this at nighttime because we started to get some of those outer bands of the storm. It turned out pretty decent. I mean, I could have used that as the color of the paint, really. But I brought this No More Drama red, and I tried to use that base paint metallic copper so I can see some type of flaking in here. I love this red. Like I said, this is my motivation color. I'm trying to get some motivation going on in my daily hustles and my grind. So this vision will manifest definitely, definitely, definitely motivation for me. Love building these cars. I feel like a kid again. I really do. I feel like I'm 12 years old again. Crylon triple coat. This is the best clear coat I found. I'm going to have to let it dry, of course, and uh, do some wet sanding. But for right now, we take care of this hood. Try to get a good three coats on here. I believe this is my second coat. I can go a little bit heavy on this one. The first coat, no, that's just like my tack coat. But that second coat, that's where the clear coat is made. Now, I actually had a chance to remove the chrome from these wheels by placing them in bleach. Now I'm going ahead and paint them a beautiful metallic copper. That's the color I decided to go with.
And this is also my technique. I use hydrant hot water and place the can in there for about a good 10 minutes to warm that paint up. It's gonna make it come out thinner. So you can have a much better paint job. And that's just not for the paint I'm using for the rims, but all the paint, including the primer as well. This copper really turned out nice on these rims. Now I let that clear coat set for about a good five to seven days. I'll come back in and do my wet sanding. 